and then make sure this, the elbow is straight. We're, we're going to go in detail about the posiology of the body, fingers straight out, and bring your wrist in a little bit. I'm going to push down, just match me. With your left hand, go like this. Okay, match me. And then, you're, and then flip it around so the back of your fingers are on the same spot, and that's weak. So one side is weak, one side is strong. That was practice. Step one is practice. Okay, now we're going to do step two. Um, scan the problem vials. Hold your right arm up. So I, I'm, I'm grabbing two, three, maybe four at a time. This is virus and bacteria. Here we go. I'm going to start. I'm going to scan. So I start here at the thigh. Here we go. Match me. And you're just scanning fields. So the vials have a field. And then the, obviously the body is a, has a field. The organs have their own fields. So nothing shows up there. Okay. So here we have candida and mold. And mold, and that's weak, and it's weak everywhere. So I'm going to put one down, and I have mold here. Here we go, and that's weak. And then use candida, strong. All right. So we have the first problem vial. All right, hold your arm up. So here's parasites. So I just grabbed three parasite vials. And I'm going to grab the other four. So there's some, so one of these or, or more parasite vials is a problem. So I got um, sporozoa. Okay, ready? Thank you. <clears throat> So this one, wait, that was the mold. So I found the spores of it, right? Is that what I said, spores of Yes. Okay, hold real tight. So here's the other, the final three. Okay, that's in there. Okay, now I'm grabbing the next in my set. I got chemicals, I got four chemicals, hold tight. So with the scanning, I'm not finding chemicals. But everybody's got chemical toxicity. And my intention here is not to find everything. You're just finding the most important things right now. And um, we'll, we'll go over the thought process. There's a five-step roadmap to take it together. And the reason why I started the thigh is because the, what's the largest organ in the body? Muscles. It's the largest, it's not the brain, heart, liver, skin, it's muscle. Okay, now we have five lime vials. So, um, I just grabbed the first three. And then back here, the bladder, kidneys, adrenals. Nothing shows up there. There's the solutions that you have. I gotta make sure that this is all working together. So let me get back to this. So I'm gonna show you from here now. Um, so I found the, the problem vial step two, and then step three is test the strength of the problems, zero to a thousand or distance from body. So stand here. So the score is zero to a thousand would indicate severity if the score is like closer to a thousand. Zero, not so bad. Hold your arm up. Um, step back a little bit. Then we got sporozoa, two years a little bit. And we're just gonna ask the body on a scale of zero to a thousand, what number is this? Is it over 500? Yes. Over 600? Yes. Over 700? Over 800? So it's over 700. And you're gonna be drilling this tomorrow. Is it over 710, 720, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70? So sporozoa is at 760. His arm is weak at 770. So it's below that. So yes, it's strong, no, it's weak. Is the mold over it? Is on a scale of zero to a thousand, what number is the mold at? Mold fungal toxin. Is it over 500? 
yes, over 600, yes, over 700, over 800, over 900, 910, 920, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980. <clears throat> so it's at 970 fold. So for step um, three, mold is a bigger issue. And then we can, and then here's distance from body. Hold your mouth. So the mold is weak at the body, and as I pull it away, his arm is still weak. Just picture like this is kryptonite. Okay, so it's still, his arm is still weak, and I'm like approaching six feet away. Like that, it's still weak. So that is distance from body. Here's the sporozoa. Here we go. So this is weak at the body. And then I pull away. And I'm looking for at what point does the arm go strong? and it's still weak, it's never, there it's strong. So it's this big of a problem, whereas the other one is this big of a problem. <laughs> okay, got it? So, so we know that mold is a bigger issue. Okay, so step four is related to step three, and um, you're making sure that you answer the question, are the problem files of pack mold? Is it over 500? And then use your knowledge. So there's the five-step roadmap to health, which you're gonna see tonight. And that's the knowledge that you're going to use to determine that, um, yeah, the mold is a bigger issue than the parasites because mold is addressed in step one in the five steps, and parasites are steps two and three. Okay, but you could address both together, possibly. But you're thinking now. When I taught, I was taught to teach the doctors to be a really good technician and to rely on the technique, right? But you're not a technician, you're a doctor. So you have to think and you have to teach. So it's a little bit more, more better. It's more better. Okay, well, your, so step five, we're looking for a solution. So test solutions effectiveness by testing in the field, looking for strength all the way in. So hold your right arm up. And we have, here's biotoxin binder. I'm a big fan of biotoxin binder for mold toxins, the mycotoxins. So it was weak all the way out here, and now we're gonna bring it in. And first of all, we have to see if it, it's weak. So it doesn't work at all. The biotoxin binder is not helping at all with this mold toxin uh, scenario. So carboxy, here's the next one. I'm a huge fan of carboxy. You get rid of everything that's bad. Bring your arm back a little bit. Get it. So strong, down some. Strong, strong, strong. All the way in, strong, strong, strong. Strong, strong, strong. Ugh. Good. So, um, happy about that. Carboxy for the mold fungal toxin. Now, um, let's test the other solutions. Just, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the carboxy in my hand and the mold fungal toxin in my hand. Now I'm adding Tudka. He's been taking Tudka. Does Tudka help? No. See that? So that goes with the biotoxin binder. Here's the para 3. Does para 3 help with the mold? No, it doesn't help with the mold. It might help with the sporozoa, but I'm going to set that there. And then here's the IS4. Um, here we go. And that's me. Okay, and then the lymph active, and that's strong. Um, out here, bring it in all the way in, it's strong all the way in. Now sometimes it'll, there'll be a product that's strong halfway, then, you know, then the arm goes weak, so, so you have to find something else to bring it all the way in. Okay, now, so now what I have in my hand is the mold fungal toxin vial and carboxy, and then um, does, that, does the carboxy also fix sporozoa? Okay, so I have two problems, one solution in this in my hand, and strong, strong, strong. So it's strong all the way in. That's good. So that's that's step five. Now, step six is test to see if the body can handle the solutions, right? Well, in this case, we only have one. That's carboxy. So I'm gonna put down the problem vials. I just have carboxy. Hold your mouth. So here's step six, and we're basically like holding it against the body, like liver, for example, gallbladder. It's, his arm is strong. His intestines, lymphatic system, 
brain, sinuses, muscles. Turn around. Adrenal, adrenal, kidney, kidney, bladder, spine. You know, you got everything. Everything's fine with carboxy. It's all good. Now let's say his arm was weak. Then we would do step 6A or 6B. So let's say we need to do something. Let's say if, if let's say this was weak, then I would have to add some drainage or bind, a binder or maybe some mitochondrial support. Okay, let's just pretend that carboxy was weak here for the lymphatic system. Then I would grab lymphactive and see if it made it strong. Okay, but let's just do it for real. Ready? Now we have carboxy and lymphactive. Here we go, hold tight. Yeah, he doesn't need lymphactive. Um, what, here's advanced tucta. Does your gobbler need advanced tucta? Okay, so then 6B would be removing something. So if I had 10 products in my hand and I did step six and it was somewhere it was weak, then I had to think about removing something, which we did already earlier. Okay, so then step seven is test the dose. Okay, so hold your arm. This is how I was taught early in my career. Just hold it against the vagus nerve right there. And then you just start counting the quantity. What If it's pills or drops, you just say it. And you could say like teaspoon or quarter teaspoon or half teaspoon. So let's say one, let's do one scoop. Yeah, so a scoop that comes with the, with the jar. So one scoop per day, that's strong. One and a half, I'm going up. Two scoops a day, two and a half, three scoops. So two and a half scoops a day. How much have you been doing? One. Yeah, so the more car carboxy you're on, the better off you'll be. So two and a half scoops of carboxy. And all this other stuff, just stop it. Sound good? Yeah. All right, good. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah.